Okay, the Oppo A77s. This is going to be a very simple phone to review because it's considered quite an entry-ish level smartphone. So let's speed run through it. We'll start off by talking about the design. Now this phone uses a plastic bag and the one we have here is in the sky blue color and I really like how the color actually shifts when the light is reflected at a certain angle. It is also made in a matte finish so it feels particularly nice to touch and it doesn't catch any fingerprints as well. The screen of this phone is rather interesting. It's an IPS LCD screen with 90Hz refresh rate but the resolution is only at 1612 by 720 I had to double check because from my eyes it does look like a 1080p screen. We also did our color accuracy test and it is really good. Covers 99.53% of sRGB and 96.17% of DCI-P3 color gamuts. It's really good to know that they sacrifice the resolution without sacrificing the colors. As for the maximum brightness, this phone can only go up to about 420 nits of brightness so that means it will suffer under direct sunlight even if it's gloomy outdoors. As for the performance, I'm really not gonna talk much about it because you can clearly play Genshin Impact at the lowest graphical settings and at a relatively okay frame rate, I can get about 30-ish FPS because that Snapdragon 680 is kind of powerful but granted the graphics just don't look good because you're essentially playing it at 720p resolution at the lowest graphical settings so everything looks like mashed potato. For the battery life, we ran the PC Mark battery life test at 100 nits of brightness and we get about 17 hours. And I say about 17 hours because the app crashed at the end of the test because all Oppo phones apparently do that from our review from the past as well. And I gotta say, this battery life is insanely good. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything different because the Snapdragon 680 is a rather low power chip anyway. And then comes the charging speed. This phone comes with a 33 watt charger and it charges that 5000 mAh battery takes about 63 minutes so it's pretty standard and as for the software the Oppo A77s comes with ColorOS 12.1 and we've encountered this version of ColorOS in the past many times before so there's really nothing special here that we want to highlight but we still do have quite a lot of bloatware so you will have to uninstall them on your own other than that ColorOS 12.1 works as intended so I don't have major issues with it so that's good the camera though is weird. Remember, I said the word in a singular form, camera. That is because the second camera is completely unusable, it's just a depth sensor. And I gotta say, the camera picture quality is actually looking very good. Certain shots like this look amazing and it captures the colors and detail excellently. But in certain shots, the colors just become completely flat. Like this flower's petal, it's supposed to be much redder than this. And this street also looks very grey. And a few more things to mention about this phone. It still comes with an audio jack at the bottom and it also has a triple card slot so you can fit double nano SIM cards and a single micro SD card at the same time. At a price of 999 though, I think that the Oppo A77s is rather expensive but with everything raising in price, I would just think that it is rather acceptable in today's economy. So if you're looking for a very okay kind of mid-range entry-ish level smartphone, uh, this is a good option. Surprisingly, the camera is very good. It's just take a little bit fine tuning when it comes to certain shots. But other than that, I'm pretty impressed, especially with the 33 watt charger as well. So yeah, 999 ringgit, pretty okay deal. I'll leave all the links down in the description below. If you have any other questions, do leave them down in the comment section as well. Remember to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.